Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Okay, that's the back wall. Now I've got to figure out for something for the front. Oh, yeah. And i got to connect, reconnect the path. That's easy enough. Okay, and here we go. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. I just don't really have a lot to say right now. Um, I, I got to tell you, when I first considered adding the the sea lions to the zoo, my first reaction to my own inspiration was, oh, come on, that's that's a stretch, isn't it? And then I thought about it, about where these animals actually live in California, and I'm like, no. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that, you know, if they lived in the same area and weren't oceanic animals, you would find them literally in and among the redwoods. They live in the same, in the same area. So... You know, it's just on the coast. So I'm like, well, yeah, why not include them then? That's that's just, you know, maximum fun, maximum animals. That's that's what we're looking for here, right? Maximum diversity in our zoos. We need to start thinking outside the box. I'm trying to think of any other cliches that exist for uh, uh, thinking creatively. And right now, I'm, I'm not really thinking of any. I can't think of any. So, you know, let's see. Lucy, hi, Lucy. Still too much grass, but you know, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right. Looks pretty good. It really does, this looks pretty good. I think we are done with our uh, with our California sea lion um, habitat. I'm gonna add a couple more trees just because I wanna get the point across. These animals don't always exist in rocky beaches. For the most part they do though. You know, and I don't expect them to do a lot of walking around on the land, which is why I'm, you know, the, the land viewing area is kind of small. What do we got? Tickets are underpriced. Okay, well, let's make it 35 and 35. Right. 
Okay. Now we're going to see about this area next to the path. That's a nice and long one. Yeah, no, I like how this is how, how this is working. It, I mean, it doesn't seem that exciting because it's just rocks, but not, you know, I'm I'm I, what I've got in my head is an image of the Sea World uh, habitat, and this works. This works a lot. Okay, let's see. Come on. I'm looking for something to put I know what I'm looking I know I will I, I, know, I will know it when I see it Crying out loud. No power. Okay, I'll fix that in just a second. Wait, did I turn it around the wrong way? Okay, there we go. I have protesters, Kel Supremes. I wonder who the protesters are protesting. Hmm. All right. We're going to lay down some facilities here. We're going to put down a... Uh, uh, where are they? Put 
down a keeper hut. We're going to put down a staff room. And the staff room comes with utilities. Okay. Let's see. Well, I found our protesters. The two skunks. I see too many, probably too many raccoons. So hold on a second. The raccoons unfortunately breed like rabbits. Yeah, let's just put everybody on birth control. We'll send all the juveniles to the Trade Center. This should alleviate the space problem for the skunks. If necessary, what I can do is I can just move them to their own habitat, which I might do. Um, in the meantime, our California sea lion habitat is finished. Uh, what I need to add now is the, the talk station. That was interesting. And then I gotta add it to all the work zones. Okay. California sea lion. Sounds like it's about to start raining again. And it's gonna be the North America playlist as usual. Okay. And I will I will eventually turn the music back on.
Oh, it's missing. Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is build a separate um, habitat for the skunks. It was a good idea to have them combined, but apparently the, the raccoons are causing them far too much uh, difficulty. Plus, the skunks are apparently a shyer species. This is just perfect. I'm really just looking for something to give them a little cover. Even if they don't actually use it, I just want them to be able to get out of the rain once in a while, you know? to do the boring part. Those people are running. Makes it look like uh, I might have an escape, which is a, never a good thing. All right, that's custodial, educators. I mean, look, you see him running? Guests who are running tend to be guests who are running away from something. Like, for instance, an escaped animal. taken care of. And security. Oops. Vendors. And lastly, veterinary.
This is a finished habitat. Now, like I said, I am going to be building a, uh, a new habitat for the skunks. I'm going to do that off camera because, you know, you've already seen it once. Uh, as for what we're going to be doing next, I haven't yet decided. Um, I was contemplating doing a habitat for one of the bear species, which would be kind of cool because we don't have any of them in the zoo yet. And, you know, bears love this kind of territory. So anyway, uh, if you like what you saw here, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. No, I'm definitely hearing an escape bell, but I don't see anybody running. Oh, they're running over here. Okay. Who escaped? Let's pause this so I can uh, find out who escaped. It looks like none of them. Nobody's escaped, so I wonder what's going on. Anyway, guys. Like I was saying, uh, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll look forward to your comments. Talk to you later. Bye.